the chakras and your higher self guided meditation. Hello and welcome to this guided meditation. My name is Jason Stevenson and thank you for taking the time to join me and trusting in my work. This meditation will consist of a body relaxation to begin with, followed by the spoken chakra and communing with your higher self. Too often we get so caught up in our lives that we forget to really live. And really living means existing beyond the confines and demands of schedules, immediate wants and needs, the expectations of others, and the need to conform. I wonder if you can remember what it was like as a child, what it was like to just be, to live and to be joyful without a question, to live free of doubt and self-criticism. It's all about being in the moment, enjoying it, free of expectations and just being alive. I believe that poet William Blake put it best when he wrote, to see a world in a grain of sand and a heaven in a wild flower. Hold infinity in the palm of your hand and eternity in an hour. It sounds so beautiful, but I guess we think, but how can you hold infinity in the palm of your hand and eternity in an hour? Is it even possible? Well, yes, it is. The true you exists in all things, and all things exist within you. When you truly understand that, you experience the entire universe within yourself, and yourself as the entire universe. Once you experience that, then you grasp that heaven already dwells within you, as does infinity. Within that heaven lies all possibility and all joy, and with that infinite space lies infinite wisdom and infinite power. And it all begins with breath, the bridge between your smaller self and your higher self. So let's begin. Just finding a comfortable place, either seated or lying down. Making sure there are no distractions for the next 30 minutes or so. And just breathing in and out now through your nose. And seeing if you can slow your breath down to a count of three. So breathing in on a count of three through your nose. And releasing that breath on a count of three. So it's inhaling, one, two, three, exhale, one, two, three. And just see if you can keep a steady rhythm similar to this, but that's comfortable for you for the remainder of this meditation. We'll begin with a body scan now. Just becoming aware of your body and starting at the top of your head. Noticing any sensations here. The density and the space this area takes up. Including in that awareness is your forehead. Become aware of this area. Without judgment, just being aware and feeling any sensations that may arise.
and taking in an awareness of your eyes, your ears, your nose and cheeks. your mouth and lips, your teeth, the entire face. Sensing any sensations, even sensing where the air meets your skin. Becoming aware, moment by moment, if any sensations or feelings that you feel come and go. And during this time, if your mind wanders, that's simply okay. Just allow it to be. Your only role is to simply acknowledge your thought if it wanders, and then come back to focusing on the parts of your body, my voice, and sensations that you feel. So we're going to shift that focus now from the top of your head and your face, moving it down to the neck, your shoulders, You might even feel your shoulders relax a little. This is a place where we store a lot of tension, our shoulders and our shoulder blades. Also being aware of your neck and your throat area. sensing what is going on here. You might even be able to feel air coming and going in the throat area. Moving down now to focus on your arms. elbows, and your forearms, and down to your wrists and your hands. may be either resting on your lap or at your side. Right down to your fingertips. See if you can sense the weight of your hands and each individual finger. And any sensations that you may feel. Just being aware moment by moment. shifting your awareness now up to your chest area. You may sense the rise and fall of your chest, the subtle rise and fall. And bringing your awareness to your rib cage the front, 
the sides of your ribcage and right around your upper back that's resting either against the chair or on the mattress of your bed. If you sense any tension or aches or pains, just bring a gentle awareness to this. Not forcing any pain or aches away, but rather just simply being aware. Moving that awareness down now to the abdomen area, your stomach. Feeling sensations here. You may feel it softening, releasing. And just as the chest, you may feel your belly rising and falling as the air comes and goes. Whatever you feel, whatever you sense, just be open and aware and accept. Shifting that awareness now to the lower back area. You may sense some pressure here. And continue to shift your focus to the pelvis area, your buttocks. Being aware of the space that this takes up. The air against your skin. Any sensations that you may feel. Allow them to come and go with full acceptance. Continue now to bring your awareness to your thighs, the top of your thighs, the sides, inner thighs and underneath. You may feel the pressure of where you're laying or seated. Sensing the weight of your legs. If your mind begins to wander at all, that's okay. Just simply bring it back now to focusing on your thighs. And moving now down to focusing on your knees, the top bony part of your knee and the inner fleshy part underneath. In full awareness, just accepting anything that comes and goes, any sensations, feelings, thoughts, with full acceptance. You may become aware of some discomfort or pain. 
that is okay too. Just be with this. Moving your attention now to your calf muscles of both legs. If you are lying down in bed, you may feel the calf muscles spread against your bed. And shifting around to your shins. And finally, bringing your attention to both of your feet. The soles of your feet, any pressure that's attending here. The bridge of both feet. Ankles. And right down to your toes. Each single toe. You may even sense the space between each toe. Just checking in on your breathing now and feeling this breath sustaining you and breathing in and out throughout your entire body. And seeing if you can take in now the awareness of your entire body from your feet all the way up to the top of your head. Accepting all that is. Without judgment just being aware. Just stay with this for a few moments and allow yourself to relax further. I'd like you to bring your focus now to the base of your spine. And here lies your first chakra, the part of you that says, I am. See if you can bring your breath here and give thanks for your sense of being. Inhale into this chakra and as you exhale, Mentally say to yourself, I am. Just stay with this for a few more breaths. like you to now bring your attention to the spot just below your belly button. This is your second chakra, the part of yourself that says, I desire. And see if you can breathe into this point and give thanks for your existence. As you exhale, Mentally say to yourself, 
I desire. And just stay with this for a few breaths. Now if you'd bring your attention to your belly button, this is your third chakra area, which gives you the urge to act. Just bring your in-breath here and as you exhale, mentally say to yourself, I act. And keep this breath going here for a few moments. Focusing now on your solar plexus, and this is located just beneath the midpoint of your chest. And this is your fourth chakra, the part of you that feels. Take your in-breath here, and as you exhale, mentally say to yourself, I feel. And again, just staying here for a few breaths. Now bring your attention to the base of your throat. And here lies your fifth chakra, the part of you that expresses Bring your in-breath here, and as you exhale, mentally say to yourself, I make myself known. And please keep this up for the span of a few breaths. Now bringing your focus to the space between your brows. This is where your sixth chakra is. The part of you that comprehends. Breathe into this spot. And as you exhale, mentally say to yourself, I understand. And stay here for a few moments. Now with your eyes still closed, see if you can raise your eyes and try to look at the roof of your head. Don't strain yourself, just if you feel discomfort or pain, just lower your gaze until you find a position you're comfortable with. Here at the top of your head lies your seventh chakra. The part of you that understands things free of prejudice, discrimination, feeling and attachment. So bring your in-breath here and as you exhale, mentally say to yourself, I know and will stay here for a few moments. Shifting your awareness now to pay attention to your entire length of your spine. Visualize it as a white pillar of light 
whose bottom starts at the base of your spine, rising up through your body. Up past your neck, rises through the middle of your head and right to the top of your head. If it helps, you can imagine that your entire body is a pole made of pure white light. One end of that light rises up through the middle, topmost part of your head, stretching many miles above you. With your eyes raised as high as you can comfortably lift, Try to see where that light goes as it rises up past the roof of your head. Although that beam of light goes off into eternity, there is a sort of barrier that lies some 12 inches above your head. This is the eighth chakra, also called the Great Sound. From your perspective, it might look like an umbrella or as if you were sitting beneath a great, transparent jellyfish floating some 12 inches above your head. It's also called the witness. The part of you that's attached to your body but isn't in your body. This witness is the midway point between your physical self and your higher self, which has never been born and can never die. You might like to think of it as a boy bobbing on the water's surface, Beneath that boy is a string attached to the ocean's floor. The beam of light that starts at the base of your spine and shoots up through the top of your head. Between the boy on the water's surface and the anchor that keeps it bound to the ocean's floor, lies a knot, and that knot is the witness connecting your physical body to your highest self, which never lives and never dies. Rising up that beam of light, that point some 12 inches above your head, is a light body. It's a detached version of you, one that knows your likes and dislikes, your passions and urges. It doesn't judge you, it simply observes and records your thoughts and your feelings without thinking or feeling them. As the witness, you sense your body below. Feel it breathing gently beneath you. As you witness, you feel and see the line of light stretching forth above you toward infinity. There is an ebb and flow of impressions and sensations that your lower self transmits to you in flashes. Remember, there you sit afloat in a timeless sense of being. You are light, made of light and encased in light, emitting light.
From that perspective you see, but do not judge the actions of your lower self. You see it scramble back and forth like a toddler just learning to walk. Like a child, it makes mistakes as it was born to do, but how else can it learn? This is part and parcel of who and what it is. That one that sits or lies in meditations calling out to you. For it may feel lost, alone, adrift, or in need of guidance. It may feel disconnected, confused, ungrounded. It reaches for you as a toddler reaches out to its mother. Just listening now, it asks for guidance. Reach out. Simply reach out and remind it that it is loved. It has always been loved and will always be loved. With each in-breath it draws the memory of you deeper into itself. With each out-breath it stretches forth and reaches out to you. Here in this moment let the barriers of memory weaken so that the body sitting below you can feel you again. Feel its gentle, rhythmic in breath and out breath. Expand and contract its wondrous body, drawing you in with each inhalation and reaching out to you with each exhalation. Guide it that it may live in wisdom and power so that it may make the right choices at the right time and the right place and with the right people. Guide it that it may live in dignity and grace, making the right choices at the right time, at the right place, and with the right people. Guide it that it may live in peace and joy. Guide it that it may speak to you and hear you whenever the need arises, always at the right time, at the right place and with the right people. Through your guidance, may it finally learn to see the world in a grain of sand and heaven in everyone and everything, even itself. Through your guidance, may it finally learn the power of seeing infinity in its own existence and eternity in the joy of every breath 
and every passing moment. Bring your focus back to the top of your head. Feel that light of your own power above you and know that it will always be there. Whenever you need its guidance, simply be still and breathe slowly, rhythmically. Inhale now, and as you exhale, mentally say to yourself, I know. And again, inhale, and on the exhale, say, I know. And stay with this for a few moments. Turn your focus to the spot between your eyebrows and gently lower your eyes so they gaze at the back of your forehead. Inhale and as you exhale mentally say to yourself, I understand. Exhale, I understand. Still focused on your breathing, keeping your eyes closed, and slowly return your breathing to normal, bringing your breath back to an easy, comfortable rhythm. At this point you may return to your waking life or you may continue to drift off into a deeper purposeful sleep. Welcome home my friend. Welcome home.